now now let's try to see for example let's say that i want to take all the dues so whatever whatever the dues available in this one i want to capture all the dues just it's a jquery website i want to capture all the dues available so that means dollar of you can use css selector here dollar of due okay so if i try to press enter <clears throat> now whatever the dues available in this web page all the things are saved in this dues so if i try to check this dues variable now here you are able to see 97 so that means there are about 97 div elements available in this web page so if i want to if i want to get the length means dues dot length so there are 97 elements are available or otherwise you can also check dollar of view. okay you can also do it like this so now here if you try to observe so this is having let's say that if uh, if only header so you'll be having only one header right if available yeah so now if you are able to see here we are having only one header you'll be able to see at the top this is this one is highlighting so this is one header dollar of header means it will give you as an array if you try to observe here it is giving in a square brackets so these are all <coughs> methods available in that one so this is an first element so this is the element so if you try to see here if you are if you are able to get one element also it is written as an array okay so this one is also written as an array if you take the length of this one so you will get one now if i want to get the all the dues available in this one so then also it will be able to get an array so this is a 97 elements are available in this one so due it will the selector will return you the list of all the items elements that are matching with this one as an array so this is one thing you need to remember if only one selector matches means then also it will try to give you as an array only so you can you can check it with the dot length and another one what i want to tell you is why i am trying to tell you this one is for example if you want to get document dot get element by id if you want to check the check this one so you will get only i don't know whether it is available or not yeah here it is having so you will be able to get no you will not get as an array this is a direct element why because you are trying to search with an element by id but whereas if you try to see dollar of hash main means so in this in this one you will get it as an array so that is the reason i am trying to tell you so here you will get it as an array whereas here we are not getting as an array that too if you want to check with document dot get elements by tag name so then you will get as an array so get elements by tag name of div so now you will get as a collection as an array so here you are getting as an array so depending on the method what you are using in the javascript it will return you either an array or an individual item whereas in the jquery all the things will be written as an array if it finds the single element also it will try to give you an array and another thing what you want to understand is so here i want to say select something like get elements by id of so some id which is not available i am trying to get it so here you will get a null and when you try to access something like a dot some style dot display like this if you want to apply so you will get an error <coughs> but whereas here in this one so it would so for example if you want to find an element in javascript which doesn't have means it will throw an error normally but whereas here if you try to check with a element that doesn't exist or anything also so jquery will try to find it but you will not able to find anything so dot length if you try to see it will not throw any error okay it will try, try to give you a length so this is also one of the thing one of the thing you need to consider and you can also use different types of selectors so whatever the selectors you know right so for example i want to find the header inside the header I want to get something like ul elements so here you can you can use this like this so these are these many ul elements are available in the header so these are all ul elements available in the in this header only header inside ul so like this you can use uh, what i can say different types of selectors you can use it uh, for example let's say that um, <coughs> attribute selectors uh, so you remember right http so for example href that starts with these all things three uh, these all things also you can select it so you can use https like this so these all things also so for example here we got it an error something we will be using like this right okay. oh sorry i think we need to use it for this one only okay so like this also we can use it so these all uh, which starts with https so these are all selectors whichever we have learned in the css if you are able to understand plus siblings adjacent selectors these are all the things also we can use it so this is one of the thing 
so selecting this one now for example let's say that i will be having dollar of h1 so i am trying to find a h1 element whether it is present or not so if you try to see the element is not present dollar of h1 is not present let's say that we will try to take dollar of h2 okay so we got h2 here okay there are so many elements here h2 is available okay h2 dot logo we'll try to take h2 which is having a dot logo i think this one will not have anything text will not have it yeah, okay so in order to get the text for this one in order to get the text data so that means for example we'll try to see it in this one only then only you'll be able to understand it let's say that we are having h1 here right now if i try to open it with live server let's try to open this one instead of going to jquery yeah so now in order to find this h1 element so we can use this h1 and in order to get the text for that one so text means that inner html that one okay so for that one what you can do is so dot text so if you try to use this dot text i may will be able to get this text value okay so dot text this is a getter function now if you want to set a value i want to change this one to hello world the text for this h1 so you can use dollar of h1 so h1 means it is, this is a selector okay and dot text i want to change the data so here i can use the content for changing like this the same method will work in a different ways both as a getter and also a setter so if you pass a parameter into your text method then it will try to set the text content for this one for example let's say that i want to pass something like strong hello world or something like this so here i want to pass something like this okay now we are able to get this strong is wrapped like this so that means we are trying to add only the text now the jquery is considering considering that it is only a text data so that is the reason it is trying to it is trying to add it as a text data only in html but if you want to if you are trying to add an html data means then you will have a method that is nothing but html okay we are trying to add an html now if i try to print it so here now it is add, now it will be added as a strong so if you try to see here see here it is added as a strong element so this is about the text so this is the text thing so whenever you want to add a text data means you can use the dot text so you know that you are having some html content or some uh, elements you are having everything means if you want to append it means you are not sure means then you can use the html so you can also use for the normal text also you can use it so if you want to use something like this you can also add it not a problem it will not do anything but i am trying to tell you you are having two methods there is nothing but html and text for adding the text data you will use it and the same thing also for example if you try to use like this now it will try to return the html data that is available that is wrapped inside the h1 <clears throat> now for example let's say that we are, i am having a ul element okay so i will be having an ul element something like 5 i will be having okay so this is the, this is the ul element i am having and i will try to give nav menu or something like this okay so let's take this nav menu and here <clears throat> what i will try to do is dollar of so i will be having ul dot nav menu which is having nav menu so now it will give you the nav menu <clears throat> so now i want to get the text of this one so now if you try to get the text of this one means see it is written in somewhat uh, other manner it is trying to written so with the spare what i can say is with the spaces here you are having these all the spaces right the next line these all the things it is trying to written it so if you try to get it through the html so you know that this is html content so if you try to get it through the html then you will get these all the li and all those things okay so this is the difference so for example if i want to get it uh, what i can say inside a <coughs> or otherwise li first child so first one i am taking a so like this you can also add a selector so now if i want to take this a has a text of something like link one or something like this yeah so we are able to get this one or otherwise if you want to use the html also you can able to get it so i am trying to capture go to the ui uh, ul which is having nav menu and also the li of the first child so there is nothing but this is the first child so this one capture this first one and inside this one go to the anchor element 
and go to the anchor element and capture the texture html i'm trying to say so this is how we can traverse through that one using the selectors and all those things so not only with this one you can also use the ids and all those things so whatever the selectors you are having you can use it all those things so this is about the selectors jquery selectors so whatever the jquery so you want to use in the dollar of like this we have seen about the function right not only the function you can use the selectors also the different types of css3 selectors that are supported you can able to know so if you want to know more if you know you want to know the selectors and all those things means so here you can see that i am trying to capture this element through a selector so here at the bottom you'll be able to see the navigation the tree navigation so here it is present in html inside body space ul dot nav lia so you can take this all things so here you can take this all the things so here you can take this all this is nothing but html selector css selector only html body space ul dot nav lab a so here you will be able to find it a complete traversing of that particular element so how the browser actually travels to this one from the root element to here anchor element you'll be able to see at the and in the developer tools also you'll be able to see just i'm trying to show you so if you want to write it uh, the selector if you don't know means so in the developer tools it will try to guide you also here and the another thing what i want to tell you is the now we understood um, how to capture the existing element in an html so using the jquery we understood so in a very easy manner we are able to capture it now for example if i want to create an element so in our in our javascript if i want to create a new element in the memory and do all the stylings and all those things for that one and i will i will attach it to the dom so these are all the things we have seen using the document dot create element so we will use this document dot create element of do so like this we used to do if you remember these all things so now we can also do it with the jquery also we can also use, we can also do the same thing with the jquery also so how we can do it is let's take a variable where do and instead of passing the selector in the dollar or dollar i can do i can write html here okay so this is a element added by jquery okay so now i can close this view here that's it so now a element will be created a jquery development a development will be created in the memory so right now it is not attached to the dom just we have created in the memory so for example if you want to create in the javascript we need to do document dot create element and all those things we need to do it so here we have created a development okay and now <clears throat> if you want to get a text or something like this means you can get the text and something like for that one so right now it is not present in the it's in the dom but here you have created element in the memory and you can do it not only like this if you want to create multiple elements at a time so you can also create something like where span spans i want to create spans dollar of i can take an array and i can do something like span span one i can say so i can close the span and i can pass another array uh, another element in the array so that would, that will also be a string span span two and i can close the span so now i am taking dollar not only as a single string and i am also taking it as an array of elements now if i try to press enter so if you see the spans so here we are having two elements okay two elements span elements right now it is not attached but these are wrapped with a jquery functionality and these are all the jquery methods which are available okay so here if you try to see dot html we have seen it is a function so dot text also somewhere it will be pqrst here this is the text so like this you will be having all the methods that are in, that are declared in a prototype as jquery is a constructor function okay so now <clears throat> so like this we can also create the elements using this one now i want to tell you another thing that for example let's say that i am having an element i am having an element anchor element okay mm, or otherwise what is this one text h1 right yeah so i am having an h1 element which is a raw dom element raw dom element means which was document dot let's try to have any id so that we can get single dom element only so now i am having an element document dot get element by id of 
write it okay i'm not using the hash and all those things so now if you try to see the h1 so this is a raw dom element okay which we got it through the raw javascript element javascript method so this is a raw dom element this is not a jquery or anything now we can also uh, we can also make it as a jquery wrapper function how we can make it is so i can pass dollar of h1 into this one okay that's it so now this h1 will be wrapped inside a jquery wrapper <clears throat> So now not only the string elements or something like that, the selectors or anything in the dollar, we can also pass the raw document, raw DOM elements also inside inside this one to use the jQuery functions. Now I cannot use this dot text here. For example, I got the H1 element, right? So I got the H1 element. I want to get the text means I cannot get it here. So if I want to use this one, it will throw an error, right? So I want to use these all jQuery methods and all those things. Then what I what I can do? So where jQuery h1 is equal to dollar of that h1 that raw dom, dom element i will try to pass it now i can use this jquery h1 dot text now i will be able to get this one so now i can able to use these all the jquery functionalities or anything on this raw dom element so that is the thing i want to explain it so if you have a raw dom element which you got it through the javascript we are having means and you want to use the java jquery methods and all those things for that one so you can use this uh, this dollar also you can use it not a problem so you can also pass it so these are all the different ways how we can use the how we can traverse the element and how we can catch the element and how we can use the jquery methods for this one all these are all the different ways so we have i have shown you all the different possible ways i think so this most of the things like this only we'll be trying to do so we have seen the string dom ele uh, string element we have added and we have wrapped with the jquery through the selectors we have captured from the html and we have captured it or otherwise if you are having a javascript raw element raw dom element if you are having means then also we can pass it to the jquery so that we can make use of these jquery methods so these are all the different types okay